this is Natalie and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a different kind of video for you. I was working on this diamond painting and ran across a couple of issues with it and thought I would share that with you and show you how I'm going to fix it. This is experimental. I've never done it before. Watched a couple YouTube videos and thought, eh, I can probably figure this out. So we are going to go ahead and get started. So this is a partial painting of daisies and it's all done with crystals. The crystals aren't in the best shape, but they're not horrible either. And as long as you don't have the light pad on underneath it, you really can't tell. So that's the good thing about it. Um, but what I did run across while I was doing it was down here at the bottom. And let me go ahead and give you a close up of that. Right here. In this area, it's not sticky. So if I put my finger on it, look, nothing's going on here. And what's really bizarre is I'm like putting diamonds down and my diamonds are sticking to my pen. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, this wax is super strong. It won't even let me put my diamonds down. And it was driving me crazy. And I finally realized, you know what? I don't even think it's sticky. So of course I touched it, no stick. If you notice everywhere else, it's sticky. Can't get my finger off of it. But this particular spot, nada. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some glue that I have around the house. I didn't buy anything fancy or special for this. I just went to my scrapbook stuff and found the Aqua Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this out and see if I can fix the problem with the diamond painting. First thing I need to do is I need to get the diamonds in my tray. So bear with me one moment. All right, so I'm working on the number eight, which I have up here, number eight. And I use these great little clips to close my bag up. I don't think I'm gonna be saving these diamonds. I'll let you know when I get the project done. Cause like I said, they're not the greatest ones. I don't know if they're worth saving or not, but, but for this purpose, we're saving them. All right, so I've got them in my tray. Got my handy dandy diamond painting pin that I made myself. Ordered it from AliExpress. All right, so. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the canvas where it's not sticky. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the light pad on. And if I ruin this, it's not gonna be a total loss because it was a cheapie from AliExpress. It's not like I can't replace it, but I don't think we can go wrong with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put, ooh, it's already oozing out, hold on. I'm just gonna put a very little bit on the area, and then I'm just gonna kind of rub it in. See if I can do this without my hand being in the way. And I'm worried about these I put down over here that they're not gonna stick, so I'm gonna go ahead and probably put some glue on that as well. All right, so let's try this out. Well, so far it's at least sticking to the canvas and not to my pen. Sorry, you guys can't really see that. Let me see if I can get a different angle here. As I bump y'all, let's see. Well, you all know what it's like to diamond paint, so it's not that big of a deal, but Still want to try to show you what I'm doing. All right, so I've got all those on there. They look lined up pretty good. So what I'm going to do next 
is I'm going to do the sevens right below it. Now, one thing I do want to show you, as I was working on this, I ran across a package of diamonds that were absolutely disgusting. So I just want to show you. All right, so I opened up this package of diamonds, and I could tell already that there was condensation in the bag. Can you see that condensation in there? Yeah, this bag was completely sealed, and I've had this for probably nine months or so. And um, yeah, so you can just imagine what I'm about to show you. Yeah, look at that. It's just a big, nasty, grody clump of grossness. So I'm gonna show you in the second part of this video how I'm gonna clean those up. But yeah, look at that. So look at the difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this package number seven. This is what I'm gonna put on my painting. And now look at the difference. Look at how easy these move around. You can shake them, everything looks great. You don't see any condensation in the bag. They move around and then you get this. There ain't no moving those around. Look at that. Yeah. So yeah, pretty disgusting if I say so myself. All right, so let's get back to our project at hand. All right. So I'm gonna open up these diamonds. Pardon me while I get my scissors. Okay. So we're just going to dump some of those in there. Yeah, these are definitely not clumpy and nasty like the other ones. All right, so we're going to put the sevens on under the eights. Again, I apologize you see my hand, but um, I am right-handed, and it's just the angle of my camera. Kind of sliding around a little bit. Might have got a little too much glue down there. Okay. Yeah, see? That part's not sticky and I can't get it to come off my pen. It is so weird, it's the weirdest thing. All right, so. All right. Come on, come off my pen, there we go. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my tweezers and I'm just using my don't know if they're ever moment or who it can. I want to say they're ever moment um, tweezers because I like how pointy they are. All right, so I'm just going to take my tweezers and make sure everything's moved around okay into their right spot. I'm going to turn the light up just a little bit more. Okay. All right, so there we have those down. And of course, now we're gonna have to let it dry to see if my experiment works. But what we're gonna do in the meantime is I'm going to try putting a little bit of this aqua glue on the part I already did over here and just see how that turns out. Um, I have used aqua glue to seal a diamond painting before and I didn't like it. It flaked off really bad, so I probably wouldn't recommend doing it on a painting that you really care about. I would definitely stick with the clear adhesive spray. So I'm just barely dabbing this on there, not even pressing on the container at all. I'm just kind of rubbing it around what's already on there. 
I don't think it needs a whole lot of stickiness. And this is gonna go in a portfolio, uh, but I haven't purchased a portfolio yet, so I do need to somehow keep my diamonds on there in the meantime. Um, so it looks like this side over here wasn't as bad. Um, they're sticking just fine, but I still want to put something on them because I have to store this until I can put it behind a sheet protector. Um, oh, see, it's not because look, see, my stuff isn't even coming off. And I really only noticed it down in this part. Everything else seems to be pretty sticky. But this particular spot must have not showed up for class the day they poured the glue. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get the tweezers again. something weird with that diamond right here it's not laying right I'm just gonna toss it all right okay so I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry and see how well it does you could also probably use Eileen's Tacky Glue. And in fact, when I do this part down here, we'll try that. Because I do have some of that lying around. Like I said, I didn't really want to have to go buy anything special or order anything special. I wanted to be able to use the stuff I had on hand. All right, so we're going to go ahead and let that dry. See how it does. In the viewfinder, it doesn't look straight, but to my eye, it does. But like I said, it's still a little bit wet, so they're gonna move around. So I'll let it dry a little bit and then try to come and redo it. All right, there we go. And then I did go ahead and put some down here on this little guy, so we'll let it dry, come back, see how it looks, and we'll try the Eileen's Tacky Glue next. See you in a few moments. Okay guys, I'm back. It's been about five minutes. It still needs to dry more, but I thought we could go ahead and try the next part of my experiment. Um, I did pick up Aileen's Tacky Glue at Michael's. It was $2. Uh, I did pick this up quite a while ago. I don't even remember what I bought it for, but we'll give this a try too. This one I'm worried about because it's not clear, but it says it dries clear. So we'll see how this goes. And we're gonna do it down here where these sixes are. I'm guessing they're sixes. They could be. The canvas is really bad. It's really hard to tell, even with the light pad on. So let me look in the viewfinder. Oh yeah, those are definitely sixes, so. It's crazy how you can see so much better in the viewfinder. <laughs> go figure. Okay, so let me go ahead and we're gonna try this out. Have I even opened this yet? Oh yeah, I have. All right, so. See if I can do this without blocking everything. Okay. Ooh, see, I don't know if I'm gonna like this one. This one's gonna make me nervous. But then again, if it's something you have lying around the house and you don't have to go buy anything, it's worth a try. All right, so now I've got my sixes. And let's see. Okay. 
Yeah, these aren't the greatest diamonds. They're like really misshapen. Of course, they look great in the viewfinder, but when you're actually looking at them, they're really, all right, they're making a liar out of me. They actually look pretty good in there. All right, so. The colored ones haven't been that bad, but those clear ones, the backs of them are so scratched off that you can see right through them when you have the light pad on. But the colored ones seem to be really nice and clear. Might have got a little too much, but we'll test it out to make sure that it definitely dries clear. Like the instructions say. Like I said, this is just gonna go into a portfolio. If it gets ruined, it's not gonna be a loss. I think I paid $5 or so off of AliExpress for this. So I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. Um, You probably could even um, take a paintbrush, put a little bit of that Aileen's Tacky Glue in a little soft pan or a, a little, actually, you know what I do is with my extra trays, like these, I use these to like rest my glue gun on. I put my acrylic paints in them. So you, I could have actually poured a little bit of that Aliens glue in here and used a small paintbrush and just painted it on. And that might have not made it so goopy. Um, so that's always an idea too. But yeah, as you can see, I did get it a little bit goopy there. So we'll have to see how that turns out once it dries. Um, so it looks like I missed a couple little spots here. Okay. Another thing we could possibly do, don't try this at home guys, is maybe take a little bit of tissue and dab at it a little bit. Try to get rid of some of that excess. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and go grab a paintbrush really quick. And let's see if I can clean that up a little bit so it's not quite so goopy. Okay, so I got a little paintbrush. Okay, so right now I can tell you I don't like the Aileen's. I just, maybe because you can see it where the Tombow you couldn't see, but the Tombow was probably just as goopy. So. So I think what I'll do is um, once it dries, hopefully it will dry clear on my crystals and so I won't lose much of the sparkle. I can always run a little bit of water on my brush and brush over the crystals to kind of get rid of that coating. Um, but yeah. So I probably would recommend for the Aileen's is to just put it into a little um, container these work handy and then just slightly brush it on instead of using the nozzle that probably would work really good so anyway while that is drying let's go ahead and go into the kitchen and I'll show you how I clean 
Goopy, nasty, oily diamonds. Okay, so we are at the kitchen sink right now. I'm gonna just show you really quick how to wash oily diamonds. It's not a loss if they come like that. They can be easily cleaned up with a little bit of dish soap and a little love and tender care. All right, so I use this little mesh strainer I picked up at the Dollar Tree. You definitely get what you pay for because it's already broken, but I think we're still gonna be able to do our demonstration with it. Okay. All right, so here are the nasty Rody Patoti diamonds, and we're gonna just pour them into here. Uh, yeah. Don't do what I did at home, folks. Like I said, don't do this without adult supervision. Oh, they stink. All right. So you can see that, right? All right, just one moment. All right, so I'm gonna use a pair of chopsticks to stir it up so it doesn't get stuck all over my hands. I'm gonna take Dawn dish detergent. It can be any dish detergent you have on hand. I'm gonna put, you know, quite a bit in there. Then I'm just gonna stir it around What a mess. I haven't ran into oily drills in such a long time, but I haven't really ordered any diamond paintings from China in a while. Um, this is one I just, uh, this is one of the first ones I had purchased when I started diamond painting. I've kind of learned now the stores to buy from and what to expect. Um, so, but you know, I want to finish the paintings I bought. I mean, I bought them for a reason. It's not like it's a ton of money, but still I'm on a budget. You know, I try to save where I can and enjoy the things that I did buy, even though there's always new things coming out. I'm notorious for that. I have to buy it now, not realizing that in a week, more new stuff's gonna come out that I have to have. So I really had to limit myself and put myself on a budget. So that's why I'm really trying to show you guys things that I can do that I already have at home without having to purchase anything special. Chopsticks left over from Panda Express. I've had this strainer from the Dollar Tree for quite a while. And even it's bent out of shape, but it still serves its purpose. All right, so I've got that stirred up really good. This is my chop suey. All right, then I'm just gonna go ahead and run it under water. And I'm just gonna continue to use my chopstick. Can you guys see that? Continue to use my chopstick to stir it around. I'm very careful not to get it over here because that's where the tear in my strainer is. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my sprayer. You don't have to use a sprayer. I just find it's a little bit easier and since I have one, I might as well take advantage of it. Go ahead and get the chopstick again. Kind of make sure I got all the soap out of it. All right. 
honestly don't think it matters what temperature you have the water at. I have mine just right in the middle. Not hot, not cold, just perfect. All right, so I'm just gonna kinda get the excess water. And I do have this paper towel right here on the side. I'm just gonna dump this onto that paper towel. Let me see if I can readjust you guys a little bit. Okay. Sorry, this is kind of all over the place. I've been up since six o'clock this morning. It's 5.30 in the evening and I'm slowly losing my momentum. So they're wet, so they're still gonna come out looking clumpy. There's not much you can do about that part of it. And sometimes I'll even just leave the strainer upside down for a little while and let it dry. I mean, it has holes in it, so the air's gonna get through. But I'll get out as many as I can. I'm gonna apologize now to my boyfriend because he's probably gonna find crystal diamonds everywhere for the next month. Because they're going everywhere. Could have put these on a paper plate, I suppose. But like I said, this is just for demonstration purposes. But yeah, you could definitely put them on a paper plate kind of have ridges on it so they don't go flying everywhere. So we're gonna go ahead and let that dry for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a paper plate and that way I can just put these right on the plate and they can be moved around in case, you know, you have to make dinner or you have kids that come around and don't pay attention to what they're doing. All right, so there we have our diamond mixture. Um, I'm just kind of separating them as much as I can so they dry quicker. Um, I have found that letting them dry for a couple hours is usually the best thing before you try putting them back in a bag. So anyway, there you have it. Just a quick easy way of washing diamonds that come nice and clumpy and gross as y'all witnessed so yeah so I'm just gonna leave these here let everything dry and then I'll be ready to start working on my diamond painting again All right, let's go back into the next room and uh, see how our glue is holding up. Okay, so as you can tell, you can still see the Aileen's glue, but you can't see the Tombow glue. This one right here is actually a clear diamond, so that's not anything out of place, but you can still see all the glue here so it is gonna take some more time to dry. So I'm probably gonna to have to leave this here and let it dry while I get dinner and everything going. Um, but yeah, that's worked out pretty good either way though. I mean, they're on there, they're not coming off. It's not sticky to the touch. It's just not completely dry. So if it were my decision which one to use, I definitely would go with the Tombow. It's already clear, you don't have to worry about it. But if you don't have any on hand, but you happen to have this, this will work as well. But I would definitely recommend using a paintbrush and lightly coating the sticky stuff on. I don't think you really need a whole lot, um, especially if you're gonna be putting that behind glass or acrylic or even in a portfolio. So I will come back to you later tonight before I head to bed and let's see how it looks. Hi everybody, welcome back. It's been a couple hours since we last checked in with each other. Um, first thing I wanna show you is the diamonds I washed are now clean and dry. They're no longer sticky. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave them here on this plate until I'm ready to work on the painting tomorrow. Um, so, 
Here is the painting. Everything is now officially dry. Here it is up close and personal. Not too bad. I would say we have success. Both of those turned out really good. Even the Aileen's glue came out nice and clear. So the only thing I probably would do differently was use a paintbrush to paint a very light coat of adhesive onto the affected area instead of using the nozzle from the dispenser because I think a lot more comes out than you really need. But it still dried up really nice. It didn't lose any of its sparkle. Even the one over here that I did um, looks great. So I have to say, this was definitely a success and it didn't cost me hardly anything. I already had the supplies, which, you know, did cost me money at one point in time, but I didn't have to go buy anything special to fix this canvas. I had everything here in the house. So um, there you go. I think it turned out great. I hope this video was very informative, educational. Hope you learned something new. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Stay crafty, my friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.